If you're enjoying the videos, show some love and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. Just after 3 a.m. we were woken up by a loud crash. We were convinced it was an accident at the main cross streets up the road. While we were trying to go back to sleep, there was loud banging and knocking on our windows and doors and someone was shouting, I'm sorry, please help. It was this young man who had flipped his car into our fence. We were all so grateful he had survived this horrific rollover. First responders confirmed it when they said his inebriated state and the seatbelt had definitely saved this man's life. Morning folks. So we came to the stalls this morning to do the chores and uh, Tando had, we think, spooked last night or pushed up against the fence, got a fright or something. He's cut his leg. It's not bad, but he's grazed it and it's cut. And uh, we've treated that. And then because of the push and, and all the movement here, this tap got damaged. So me and the major, my father-in-law, <laughs> are about to repair the tap. So that's, that's what's happening this morning here on Delani. We're repairing a tap. So we've had a success here and we've turned the tap the other way. So uh, and then we're going to come and get a piece of wood and wedge it in here so that if they do push up against it, the wood will take the beating, not the pipe. That's us done. Now to lug the tools back to the house. So everyone's out this evening. Mal, Sheila, Callan, Wico, Linz and I are going to bring the horses in and they, they're going to be on pickup poop patrol. So we're all out just looking at the beautiful view. We've finished all the evening chores. I've got so many helpers, I don't know what to do. And then uh, there's the view of the Santans. Look at the sunset on the Santans. So that's the sun setting on the superstitions, people. Sorry, I keep calling it the Santans because that's the area we are in. And then there's the moon. Yes, that's beautiful. That's amazing. So Mark has come with the laser leveler and everything so we can level the stable pad and make it all even. We've got to have like a, I don't know if you call it a camber, like on a road. So the water flows off it. And then um, we build the stables on that. There's, he, he's talking to the Brains Trust right now. Malcolm, Sheila, Lindsay and Lol. Is Lol out there? No, Lol's not there. He's just talking to Malcolm, Sheila and Linz. And, uh, you guys, can you see the Major is wearing blue jeans? Malcolm is wearing jeans. That's a, a very, that's a first for everybody, Malcolm in jeans. Morning, <laughs> Hi, <Lord. laughs> So we have a lot going on at Delani this morning. Mark's leveling the pad. Uh, Blackjack's inspecting everything. Gotta keep my eye on this little bugger. This Tatando and the Stallion are racing. <sighs> yeah. I might have to bring these boys in. It's a hard choice because Mark is doing leveling the pad right by the corral. Oh, look at that, folks. Squadron flying in formation. F 18s. Wow. So, according to the Major, Mark's been at it for an hour and the pad is really making good progress. So, it's almost done now. We're going to start using the laser leveler just now to get the correct height. Mark's just putting finishing touches on and then he's just got that pile left to bring up to those stakes there. And the Major hasn't left his post the whole morning. Serious time now folks. Mark's got off the tractor. We're going to start to laser level this now. 
Sheesh, that's amazing. Oh, are you videoing and we posing? But, you, but your dad's leg! Why did they Yeah! Yes! Yes! Look, and we professional, we've got the worker gloves on. Yeah, gloves. And you haven't even got the mountain in the background. So here's, here's a, a video of the morning group. <laughs> the rose between two thorns. It's <laughs> okay, they've had a good day. So the end to the evening is Brody playing with his ball. <laughs> Come on, bud. Good dog. All right, finish now. Good drink. Good drink. That's the stable pad done. We're gonna water it for two days now. Just settle everything, let it pack in hard, and then he'll come and level it again. Morning everyone. So we've had 0.3 of an inch so far. We forecasted an inch. Um, these are the things that we needed to see. It's really good that we've had the rain. So we can see the trap points and stuff like that for the water. So this is the water flowing off the hay barn and it's getting trapped against the pad there so I opened a little channel there to let it flow. It's not flowing too well but it, that'll do it once it, it, it does flow out when it fills up. And then on this side it's working here still so that's really good. It's still flowing out. So we, we, we look like we're okay for the moment. So if it's it's a, a an in day today for everybody under the leaky roof, but at least there's a roof, as Lindsay says. So it just came down quite hard now, about um, point point three of an inch, another inch. We nearly had an inch. We over half an inch now, and that's the pad. The pad is holding up really well. There's that section there, and then there's this flowing down here and holding up here still. So this happened. We had just planted a whole patch of rye grass here. And then unfortunately where we've dug the electric trench, it breached it. And uh, went all the way through. I've just sunk up to about my thigh here. As I was walking through the gate, I just went down as deep as the trench is. Uh, this wasn't good. Not good at all. But the new pad is up above the water and it's kind of drying most of it. Just up there where the electricity box is. There's a bit of a gathering there. I came to the manure pile to offload manure and I wanted to make a little ledge like this to stack it up instead of making a mountain. And I noticed that it was steaming. And I called Dean over to come and have a look. And if you put your hand on there, how would you describe it? Look it's, at that. It's hot. Yeah. Look at that. Gee, it was. I can't believe it's so hot in this cold. Right? Look. Like we bundled up, folks. It's hot. I mean, it's freezing cold. Look here. But this stuff is, is steaming and cooking. So we're just looking at the view of the superstitions with the sun sunset on it. And then, as we come out and we look over our pasture, out in the distance there, there's snow on the mountain up there, just up above that house. 
looks like a Toblerone advert. So let's have a look at the story of the rain gauge here. So that's over an inch. Can I ch chuck the inch out? Yeah. So that's and then an and then we'll measure what's the. So that was an inch. Hey, Lindsay's like a scientist making a bomb or something. Point four of an inch. So, so one point four inches. Yeah. We've had, and then we're in for the next bit now. So I'll go write that in the diary. One point four inches. That was a lot of rain in just one day. Yeah. But it started at two. At least it was gentle, not like the monsoons. Eh? Yeah, I don't know, but yeah. But it still fixed us up. Yeah. Look at that. Those lakes. I know. It's a lot. So Linz was just saying, it's so funny how we had just got comfy making our pad and we were thinking we're all cool. My mother-in-law was making trenches there to take the water from one side of that place to another. And we were thinking, yeah, it's good. And we started that patch of rye grass there. And then uh, the weather just said, hold my beer, let me show you people. So this is the, the, the result now that the floods have dried up. And... Uh, We've got our own little San Andreas fault going on here along the electricity line because apparently we've got round two coming. It's going to rain tomorrow and then next weekend of the New Year's as well. So we'll just keep it like it is and be ready for the next flooding if we have, if we have more flooding. So we've come down the in-laws, Linz and myself. We've just come to, <laughs> there's the sheep out there on the, on the easement road. We've just come to get rid of all this muck because it's just, it's, it's file in here. So we just want to make it a bit better for them for the night. And we'll take it from there. And then there's the boys, shame. At least the sun is out, makes a difference. So it's been a pretty hectic afternoon. Callan has had to babysit Blackjack because he's just causing chaos. He came in bird stall and nearly got kicked. Lindsay and Sheila are protecting this side so the sheep don't come in and push through the, this little wire fence to get to their feed. We're just trying to keep them out till Blackjack's ready to go in. And then we can sort it out. So, <laughs> this is, this is the, the kids are home. They've come to spend the, the week with us for Christmas. And this is, this is the first time they've seen their grandparents since COVID. So for in two years. So uh, we decided just to have dinner around the fire tonight. And uh, it's just very nice. Very nice evening, pre-Christmas evening. So we've just finished lunch, Christmas lunch. There comes Sheila in her new hat and her barber jacket, looking the part like the country lady. And uh, we're going to take the boys out for a walk. They've just been cooped up. So we're going to take them all the way to the top of the pasture. There's Callum out there. <laughs> He's herding the sheep. He's just moving the sheep along because Blackjack is really proving to be a menace. So we're going to take the horses out for a walk and just give them some, 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 some space. Good boy, Brody. Good boy. Oh, 
Oh, Brody's playing with him now. <laughs> Have you got babe? Marshmallow on my chin. From what are you eating? A s'mores. My first so one. So Kelly and Lacey came to visit. Mm -hmm. And Malcolm and Sheila are eating s'mores for the first time. And me. Oh, and Lynn's. I've never had one. And before. me too. Mm -hmm. It was it was very delicious. Hello, shorty maningi. Need to grow, mate. Eat some weeds. You saying hi to Brody? <laughs> so these two's latest project. They said to Lindsay, oh, the, the, the doors in their bathroom, on the bathroom cupboards, are terrible. And uh, they said we should sand them and paint them. And Lindsay said, yeah, you should. And then the next thing, the, do the doors were off. And they, they started sanding and painting. And they've got all the doors and they're just busy. These two, these two like to work, man. They don't like to chill. They like to be on the move the whole time. So that's all the cabinet doors off in their bathroom. <laughs> Lindsay says she just, the next thing she looked, those things were done. So that's the end result of the bathroom that the in-laws did with Linz. This was their little project. They changed this whole bathroom. Really changed it. And these are some of the things they've done on the front. That's the sign that Jack and Steph gave us for Christmas. It says Delaney established 2021 on there. They put up the big D. And then this is the other they've, they've sanded and painted this front door. And they've organized a new stained glass window. They're going to put that in too. But it really looks nice with that color. And then that's the back door, sanded and painted as well. So that's all the doors that have been done by the two crazy retired people who just like to work the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's New Year's Eve day. And we've got these three getting a bit carried away, digging a hole before the fence posts and stuff have arrived. And it does look like we're getting rain. It's very dark behind the house there. So the rain could just come in and fill this damn hole in for us. But uh, there's the boys digging the holes. So there's Malcolm and Trey holding the, we get, we, we're replacing the tamper, we're getting the tamper out of the shed. So let me show you guys what I think. I think we could, we, we're setting ourselves up here for a disaster, lol. So, this tamper, I think, was put here as a support for this shed. And we need this bent tamper to dig that hole because that hole is proving hard to dig. So we're cutting that piece of wood to replace that tamper. And that's what they're doing out there now. And then we're going to have a tamper and the, digging the hole is going to go a lot quicker. There we go. We got the support in and tamper out. Now we're about to dig to China. What's that? Has he? Yeah. Is that more? Yeah. There you go, bud. <sighs> Isn't that just typical? The ones standing around watching the one do all the work are the ones with the most to say. The post hole digger. Man! Oh! Don't get close when he's got that bar in his face. Right? Almost killed his daughter. So Trey's taking some of the tools back now. We, we, we're trying to rush because of the rain. And he's going to dump the sacred bags. And then... Those are the posts up, leveled, sacred in. 
it was tough. This one was really tough because there was a concrete footer in there because we followed the old line of the fence and we found the old concrete footer. So... So we'll have we'll have a we'll have we'll have this closed up soon. So we finished just before the rain started. Yeah, and uh, everyone's having lunch now. Lauren Lauren made sandwiches for everybody, and then uh, Brody's contribution to the project was Malcolm left his building string, and Brody looked at that and thought that looks like a rope toy, and he chewed the living hell out of this thing. Do you have any straight pieces left, Mum? Oh, there's some straights. <laughs> uh, are they joined? We'll just have to pick it. <laughs> <laughs> so Brody's a construction dog. Yeah, destruction. So the fence we started digging yesterday, they've managed to put up how many panels, Beth? Three. Three panels? Yeah. So they put they put up three panels today. I was building the beehive and putting up the electric fence for the sheep in the front pasture. And then uh so that's the three panels. The one panel's just, just being uh, modified a little bit to go on the end of, of, by the rubbish fence there. And then that'll be in as soon as it's painted. And then look at this ryegrass, how nicely it's coming in. And there's poor Brody. We couldn't take him out with us today because it's so muddy. So he just played ball on the front lawn with Lindsay's dad and uncle. So mum and I decided to knock this back side of the fence out. We painted it that dark grey, but it needed this sealant to go over. So we've just been out here, I don't know, about 40 minutes so far, and we've almost finished. Yay for us! Okay, folks, we hope you enjoyed this episode. This is us ending on New Year's Day. After a busy, busy month, we've put all of it together for you. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. So from Linz, myself, the boys and the girls, Good night. Good night. <laughs> Wherever you are, be safe and be happy. Happy New Year, everyone.